Hello again, welcome back to the channel. I'm DigiFox. Today we're going to be talking about, yet again, Binance and FTX. Now, this is going to be a bit different because last time we actually speculated on Bitcoin and we actually showed you proof on this channel that we posted two weeks ago that this Bitcoin drop was going to come. Now, first and foremost, we are not financial advisors. We give you nothing but our opinions. If you follow us, you will lose your money, potentially. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So what are we going to talk about? Well, we all know Binance has a coin called BNB. We also know FTX has a token called UFTT. And everyone speculates that this is the reason as to why Bitcoin is literally taking a crap. So let's go ahead and go to the charts, shall we? And we shall tell you which one we believe would be a low, medium, or high risk return on your investment if you were to take a position in it within the next days or couple of weeks. Again, not financial advice. First and foremost, let's go to BNB &B because it clearly seems like they are the winner. Now, just like everything else, they are on the downturn. They are rolling over quite heavily, but not as much as FTT, right? But we see here they had a golden cross right here. This is on the four hour on the Binance. So it's BNB coin on the Binance exchange. Golden cross right there. That was your entry point, And you could have rolled it all the way up to roughly around 40% gains. Okay. Now we're coming back to where we originally were. Now, how far can we go? How low can you go? That is a uh, limbo. Uh, I believe the game Limbo, I believe it is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So how far can we go? Right now, it is trading at $262, roughly around this support level right here. And we are literally, literally bouncing off of it. We have reason to believe that we are actually going to go a little bit further. And here's why. Okay. If we zoom out to the daily chart, right, on BNB, and I'm going to try and make this because it appears our... Uh, attention span is not very high on YouTube videos, right? And it's just the reality situation. So let's go ahead and get rid of this because that's really annoying. Let's get some lines going. This was a double top. And we come down. That's one channel. We're going to do another one right here. And let's move this because our lines are quite crap. Okay, that's Wix, Wix. That looks like a solid one right there. So we are currently in a channel. So... We could actually come all the way down roughly around to uh, probably around the 200 region because we have this support right here. Uh, we also have the same support right here. And so after that, if we do not hold 200 and let's just say 200, right? 215, somewhere around there. If we do not hold 215, our next level is literally $130. Now, it is possible we could go there. We could actually come all the way back down to say, ooh, let's see here. How far low? How low is that? $63? Somewhere around there? Maybe $50? That is a high possibility. And you have to remember, BNB has a burning mechanism put in play based off of profits that they get on the exchange. And um, now, I believe that also means that they add coinage. I don't really know. So they may be adding coins, which would uh, be inflationary, right? So that is a possibility. We are in this channel. So expect, worst case scenario, BNB to come all the way down roughly around in January 2023. Uh, roughly around the $50 region, maybe even $60 region. So, but what is interesting as we look right here, if we zoom in on BNB, we did get a golden cross right over yonder, but we could actually do one of these deals. Okay. This is what we believe here on this channel is going to happen. We believe it is going to come down a little bit further, come back up halfway and then come down up and then down. And that puts us roughly around even with uh, the 180 mark. So at which point that would be a bottom there and a bottom there. So with that said, let's go ahead and we're going to put a claim on this channel right here. 
Now, if we're wrong, we're wrong. Again, that's what we say. Do not follow us. You are a wombat if you decide to follow us and uh, trade based off of what we say. Uh, now, if you want to go ahead and be a little bit conniving like and cunning like a fox, well, by all means, go ahead and do that. Where is the damn rectangle? Uh, see, this is why you shouldn't follow us because we are having trouble. Oh, there it is. We are having trouble with it. So we are saying the pocket for you to buy or rather to start considering purchasing is going to be roughly around this region right here. Okay, so we are going to leave that and let's just see if uh, we are right. So that is BNB. So we are considering this a medium risk option because Binance is buying FTX. Now they are literally starting the monopolization of crypto exchanges short of Coinbase, right? So it is medium risk. The reason it is medium risk is because it is at a very high price and we are in a bear market, right? So next thing, FTT. Should you take a position in FTT? Well, looking at this, that's like, <laughs> that's like asking if you would like some bean burritos, right? After you just consume 20 and with the hopes of not having to use a toilet. So we see here that it is down. We did reach a death cross right there, according to our indicators. And we are currently saying that it is a buy option. Now, what you have to look at, and when you zoom in, uh, this is on the four hour, mind you. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit further. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. So, as we were saying, come down A, B, C, maybe a D and an E. So, we'll probably settle around what, zero? <laughs> No, no. Well, this is going to be a high risk. Now, it is a possibility because of everything happening once it's confirmed and all that stuff, right? This is one of those where you have to buy the rumor and sell the news, right? So you will be buying in the expectations that Binance has completed an FTX merger and buyout. And who knows what they're going to do with the token. What that means is they're going to buy all the shit that, or sorry, the crap. That's the same thing, right? All the crap that uh, FTT has in it, and they are probably going to dump it, but they're not going to buy at these levels and expect to take a loss. No, 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 no. That's improper business. What they want to do is what Celsius did. Let's go ahead and look what happened to Celsius. Now, if you remember, Celsius had a major pump and they uh, currently, you still cannot get your funds out of Celsius, right? So let's go to Celsius charts. Okay, there's that and click there. All right, so here's Celsius, right? We all remember what happened right here in this region, right? Oh no, it's locked, insolvency. Oh dear, all the bad loans, right? And it came crashing all the way down to 80 cents. And then it had a massive run up all the way up to $2 yet again. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we believe is going to happen. It is gonna come crashing all the way down. And what you're going to get is once you see in our indicators, this little wave that's at the bottom, you can't really see it, but it's right here, right? Once you see that and you get a green, which happened roughly around Saturday, 27 August, once you get that indicator, it is time to buy. Now, this is a very, very extremely high risk move. This is going to be buy the rumor, sell the news. And uh, would you want to buy right now? Uh, probably not. I mean, you got to wait for some sort of settling down, right? Some more some more negativity, more charts, so something like this. I believe currently right now we are in this area, uh, equivalent respectively to the Celsius chart. So we still probably have another uh, maybe like 20% move down from these levels currently because we go ahead and uh, slide us over a little bit. We want to see more of this blue wave to be uh, visible for us to mitigate our risk. So if you want to start dibble dabbling, that is your prerogative, but we believe that is going to be a little bit more downside or at least some sort of consolidation. So we were looking for something of this nature like that. Probably it's going to last for roughly around a week before it starts going off to the races again. So that is our take. It is high risk. It will bounce. It is not going to zero just yet, but it is a possibility that there are major returns at which point it could be a quick 5x. It could be maybe a 2x, but either way, you will be getting your money back. So that concludes it for today. Happy days. Ha Whoops. What happened there? Happy trading and good luck to every single one of you.